Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Halloween is only two days away, so of course, I gotta talk about the legendary TV special, It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Now, we all know this story because they play it every year, and every year we watch it because it is a true classic. It is one of the greatest TV specials out there. I would go so far as to say that this was probably the first Halloween special to ever hit television, starring all the classic Peanuts characters from Charlie Brown to Snoopy, from Linus to Lucy, and everyone in between. The only character who doesn't seem to be there is Woodstock, but that doesn't really matter in this case. What really matters is everything that happens. It starts off with that great opening scene where Linus and Lucy are going to get a pumpkin and you're hearing the famous Peanuts theme song. Do 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 I love that scene, especially when Lucy carves the pumpkin and Linus says, Oh, you didn't tell me you were gonna kill it. And, of course, we get that awesome background where they're all in costume and they're seeing ghosts, cats, witches, and it is really something to behold. My sister says that that's one of her favorite scenes. She thinks it's one of the greatest. And you know what? I have to agree. It's definitely one of the best scenes because the way it's all drawn out, it's really fantastic. I've never seen a TV show or a special, for that matter, do anything like this before or since. And you see Charlie Brown and Snoopy rake up leaves and Linus jumps into them. It's priceless. And, of course, we have to have the legendary football scene. We all know that story. Lucy tricks Charlie Brown into trying to kick that football. And she pulls it away from him at the last minute. Oh, my God. It still makes me laugh after all these years. I'm still cracking up over that. It is just that funny. Of course, Linus has his own little Halloween tradition of waiting in a pumpkin patch for the Great Pumpkin to appear. Who is the Great Pumpkin? Basically, it's his version of Santa Claus for Halloween. The Great Pumpkin is supposed to rise out of the pumpkin patch and fly through the air and deliver toys to all the good children around the world. Where he came up with that one? Who knows? They never do say. Meanwhile, all the other kids are going to go out trick-or-treating and to a Halloween party. But, of course, they talk to Linus to say that he's going to miss everything just like he did last year. And Sally, who we all know has a serious crush on him, decides to stay with him because, well, she believes in him. Things are going pretty good for the kids. They're getting all kinds of candy, except for Charlie Brown, who keeps getting rocks for some reason. And Snoopy, who is dressed up in his World War I flying ace costume, decides he's going to shoot down the Red Baron. And we're watching him try to get the Red Baron, but of course, he gets shot down instead. And then he's imagining himself going across the French countryside to friendly lines. Meanwhile, Linus and Sally are still waiting in the pumpkin patch, and the kids have their Halloween party. Snoopy sneaks in and grosses out Lucy, and Schroeder plays the piano and Snoopy dances to it. And after he's left sobbing because he's playing a real sad song, he dries off his tears and sneaks into the pumpkin patch, and he's crawling through, and Linus thinks he sees the great pumpkin, (laughs) and he passes out, but Sally got a real good look at Snoopy, so she knew it wasn't him, and and she is mad at him for this. She's calling him a blockhead about 50 times in this whole scene, and she leaves with everyone else, and Linus, he stays out literally all night until about 4 a.m. because Lucy decides to go out and get him. And when she's going out and bringing him back, you're hearing that classic Peanuts theme song again. And in the final five minutes, it's the next day and Charlie Brown's saying another Halloween is coming gone and he can't understand it. He went trick-or-treating and all he got was a bag full of rocks. And he asked if Linus stayed out all night and he said yes. And the Great Pumpkin never showed up? No. Oh, don't feel too bad about it, Linus. I've done stupid things in my life, too. Stupid? What do you mean, stupid? And he's just ranting and raving that, Just wait, Charlie Brown, you'll see. I'll find a better pumpkin patch that's more sincere, and I'll get the Great Pumpkin to come to me. I swear, I'll do it. (laughs) 
he's basically vowing that he's going to pull this off one way or another. And you see the end credits roll by. It's great. This special is a true classic. One of Schultz's greatest specials. And definitely one of the best Charlie Browns that has ever been made. I've been watching this for 31 years, and I still watch it every year. I never get tired of it. For me, it's not just a great special. It's a Halloween tradition. A lot like watching the classic horror films. During every Halloween season, I always make time for this special. And I will continue to do so in the future. This is Movie Fan, signing off.